I was in my first year of university in the kinesiology department at Western. As I stepped onto that sprawling campus, I knew I was exactly where I was supposed to be, immersed in a world of human movement, anatomy, and exercise physiology. In that first week, I met a dynamic professor. In his 50s, he was leading my activities course. Activities was a group of diverse sports and a mandatory course in first year. How lucky was I? I had been an athlete in high school, lots of medals and trophies. This would be my easiest course. The first class was held at the football field. It was a beautiful, sunny fall day. A grove of trees with red, yellow, and gold leaves was at the end of the emerald green football field. I was dressed in the latest gear, cropped running shorts. They're back in style. <laughs> a matching breathable tee and newly broken in running shoes completed my kit. I was ready to go. My silver haired professor strolled up and said, we're going for a run. And he took off down the field. As I glanced up, I realized he had crossed the field and was heading into the grove of golden leaves. I sprang into action. How hard could it be to keep up with this older guy? By the time I got to the end of the football field, my lungs were burning, my side ached, and I was ready to quit. As I ended, entered into that grove of leaves, there was a never-ending, winding path. I ended up walking almost halfway, and I finished almost dead last. How could this be? I was young, fit, and really good at my sports. Why couldn't I keep up with a 50-year-old? My entire thinking changed that day. I realized my health bank account wasn't as full as my ego thought. I'm a CEO. I deal a lot with finances. I oversee a multitude of bank accounts, but the most important bank account I oversee is my health bank account. During employee orientation, I have the privilege of meeting with each and every one of our new employees. I talk to them about our core values, like live long, live strong. And I ask them, have you invested in your health bank account? A health bank account is an analogy that I created to help my team understand their health and why it was so important investing in. A health bank account is like a retirement savings account. You make deposits throughout your life and you get to withdraw later on so you can live vibrant and healthy well into your 80s and 90s. With a retirement savings account, you can take out a large sum on a rare occasion for something like a new home purchase. Your health bank account is similar. Sometimes you need to take out a large withdrawal so that you can take care if you've got some sort of chronic disease or a major accident. Investment advisors will tell you, you need to diversify. Well, your health is no different. Your health is composed of a number of things, like exercise, nutrition, sleep, mental and emotional health. Dr. Peter Atia, longevity expert and author of the book Outlive, tells us that exercise is the longevity drug. And I agree with him. Exercise is the thing that can fill up your health bank account faster than any other thing. Exercise is the stock in your portfolio that will deliver 20%. And it's legal. 
Most investment advisors will put you in a diverse series of items like stocks, bonds, foreign and domestic. Your health bank account is no different. You need to put in a variety of exercise like strength, stability, aerobic and anaerobic exercise. I learned the diversity lesson very well that first year in university when that professor crushed me on the run. When we think of our health bank account, we need to begin with the end in mind. What would you like to do when you're 85? Good question. Here's a few of mine. I'd like to be able to lift a suitcase into the overhead bin <laughs> because I want to be able to travel independently with my children and grandchildren. I'd like to be able to walk 10 kilometers with hills because I love Whistler and the Lost Lake Trails. I'd like to be able to garden. It's my passion. And I love to grow food and eat food from the earth. But I have a great big stretch goal. I'd like to be able to run five kilometers with my grandchildren. So, What's on your 85 list? Most of my staff are Gen Z's and millennials. They tell me, I don't have any time. And I get it. But just like a retirement savings account, those who invest early get the benefit of compound interest. Compound interest in your health bank account means that you get well-developed lean muscle mass and really good, healthy aerobic and anaerobic lungs. When we invest in our health bank account early, we have a better chance of living a happy and healthy, vibrant life. And we have things in reserve for those bumps along the road. So make time, don't procrastinate. Fill your health bank account now. My husband, David, lived an abundant life in his early years. He smoked, he drank, he loved his food, and he liked a strong drink and a good joke. In his mid-40s, he realized this was not a sustainable lifestyle. So he stopped smoking, stopped drinking, really curbed the diet, but he still liked a good joke. <laughs> Unfortunately, family history caught up with him and David had a heart attack at 55. During his recovery, I gave him a book called Younger Next Year by Chris Crowley. And in that book, the gentleman who had had a heart attack worked hard filling his health bank account. And a year later, he felt healthier, younger, and stronger than he ever had. This book inspired David. He lost 50 pounds, got fit, really filled up his health bank account. And a few years later, he cycled in the Grand Fondo bike race, a mountainous bike race from Vancouver to Whistler. I was really proud of him. Every investment advisor will tell you, it's never too late to start. I had a sneak preview at a few women in their 70s who were lifting weights in our local gym. I was so inspired. And my dear neighbor Ruth, 96 years old, tells us when she started swimming at the young age of 80. Every day is a good day to start investing in your health bank account. Saving, investing for a rainy day is a really good idea. A year ago, I had a ski accident and I severed the ACL in my knee. 
My life was doctors, hospitals, surgery, and learning how to walk all over again. But luckily, I had a very full health bank account, thanks to that professor back in first year. And I was able to make a very large withdrawal to aid me in a year-long recovery. But now, I'm making major investments back into my health bank account because I know that as I age and move into my senior years, yes, I'm an official senior citizen now, I'm going to need a full health bank account because statistics tell us that between the ages of 65 and 85, the number one cause of death is falls. And each year between 65 and 85, falls increase exponentially. So I'm putting more strength and stability exercise into my weekly health bank about account deposits. When I'm working with our new young staff, I realize investing in their health bank account is a win-win. Those who live long, live strong, and invest in their health bank account have a personal win, but also our company wins. People who make regular health bank account deposits have fewer sick days, and they're often healthier and happier along the road. This makes for a great vibe in our office and some really fun ping pong games in our team room. When I meet former employees, they often tell me the most important thing they learned while they worked at our company was about their personal health and their health bank account. I'm passionate about Live Long, Live Strong. I intend to live happy and healthy to 100. I love teaching on these concepts. Your health bank account was open for you the day you were born. Your job is to invest as much as you can, as early as you can. So invest in your health bank account today for you. Thank you. Yeah.